Your phone, what you doing? What you doing? How many champions there'll be if you can have pick your fight? If I can pick all my fights, if I can pick all my opponents. Mm-hmm. Uh, stay paring that wood because we just lost him. He's fucking insane. Yeah. That's insane. Right. Uh, he be kids drunk and he beat the best fighter in the world. As a little kid, he was out and out. He was drunk and he had beat the. Wow. As a little kid, he was a great fighter. Mm. It's a man. It's winning an Olympic World Championship, Pan Am Games, Olympic titles. Just having sometimes just drinking, beating all these guys. Only 18, 17 years old, beating mm. all these guys. Mm. Former Golden Glove champion, former world champion, former Olympic champion, and former trainer of Deontay Wilder, Mike Breland had a lot more to say than to just talk about Deontay Wilder. He talked about the state of boxing. He also gave his top five, and Floyd Mayweather wasn't in it. His top five consists of Tommy Hearns, Muhammad Ali, Rufredo Benitez, Roberto Duran, and of course, his childhood hero, Sugar Ray Robinson. But he did say if he had any fighter to test his skills against, it would be Floyd Mayweather Jr. He also said Pernell Whitaker would defeat him. And he said, don't get me wrong, Floyd Mayweather is an excellent fighter. But he said, if I can hand pick my opponents, I would be undefeated too. We couldn't do that back in the day. Back in the 80s and 90s, you know, of course it was ducking, but not like it is now. A lot of capping, a lot of Twitter fingers. Back then, you didn't have the choices that you have now. We know about Floyd Mayweather's excellent record, 50 and 0, over 21 years. But you look at Sugar Ray Robinson, he fought 25 years and had 192 fights. Started 40 and 0, lost to Jake LaMotta the second time they fought. This guy goes on an 88 fight winning streak. Incredible. And this is from 1940 to the mid 60s. Sugar Ray Robinson could not pick his opponent. He had a fight who was there. As far as Floyd Mayweather fighting Pernell Whitaker, both in their primes, we have to pick a weight. My weight would be 135. Both are very good defensive fighters. Whitaker stands at 5'6 with a 69 inch reach. Floyd Mayweather stands at 5'8 with a 72 inch reach. So the physical advantages go to Floyd Mayweather. Also, Whitaker is a southpaw. I also think Mayweather was a more crisp puncher and a harder puncher at 135. So I give the power advantage to Floyd Mayweather. I'm a big Sweet Pea Whitaker fan. And if this fight was happening, I would root for Whitaker. But I actually think Mayweather will win a close decision in this one. I do like Sweet Pea's footwork and head movement better than Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather got the shoulder roll, also known as the Philly shell. I just think Mayweather is a little better offensively than Whitaker in his prime. And I understand what Mark Breland's saying. He says Mayweather handpicks his opponents. He could fight the guys he want to fight. And sometimes he picks the guys that are not in the prime anymore. They're on the other side of their career in boxing. So Mark Breland says Mayweather is an excellent, great fighter. But I would be undefeated too if I could pick the guys I want to fight. Who's it going to be? Whitaker or Mayweather? One side note on this fantasy matchup. One thing we can't put on a scale and weigh is the heart. But I think Whitaker had a big heart. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Jay Beasy, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone. I'm going 85 and now. Uh, you know, like some people be talking, I'm the greatest fighter in the world. You, you know, all respect to the foot. I'm like, you did 50. Let me see you go 85, 90 in a row. <laughs>